What is up you guys? My name is Bacon and today I am going to show you the top 5 of my favourite attacks. Now if you haven't watched part 1, I would recommend watching that first. But let's get into it. So my first attack is going to be... Dragons, 10 minions, and a big gun, three lightning spells, and as you can see, they are shaded down one with all of them. So basically, I'm going to get better. And I'm not going to get the only one. That's basically the end of this attack guys, it's just basically you have to rush in everything all at once. And as you can see guys, there are no clan castle reinforcements, so that's good. Taking on a wizard tower, which does major damage to them, and mostly they do slash damage, which is horrible. So let's get on to the second one. And the second one, guys, is the Dragon's Rule attack, which is 10 dragons and 1 barbarian. There's three lightning spells and one poison spell. Basically, it's very simple. Like the fly high attack, you have to knock out the air defenses because they deal major trouble. But this time, you don't have to worry about the wizard towers because the wizard towers don't deal that much damage, and you shouldn't place all the dragons together like what I was just doing. Now this time I was lucky, there was only one wizard. But there's one thing you have to be worried about. I forgot what it's called again. Never mind. But this uses an awful, awful lot of elixir, so be aware of that. And don't use it when there's like a million air defenses around, that would be horrible. Let's get into the next attack. And the third attack is obviously the Pekka 8. That's what I call it. Basically, all Pekkas and one Barbarian King plus two heal and one Rage. It works really effective since the Pekkas are really powerful. And even though I used it on a level 9 tower, one level higher than my town hall, it still works. Just and the whole base was destroyed just by nine troops. I mean eight troops one With three spells. Now 
Now this, now in this attack, the heal spells come in very handy since they have a lot of health and they, the heal spell recovers a lot of the health. So it's really worth it. The as you can see before, the Bavarian King, the Bavarian King is actually going to have to know your dad that because the Professor is going to be the MVP in the attack. You can use this attack to, to use it against a lot of strong bases. The Peckers are almost like unbeatable, but this costs way more than the Dragon's Rune, so be aware of that. I would not recommend using it when you're low on resources or you're a cheapskate in Minecraft. I mean, Clash of Clans. Even though there's a giant bomb there, it doesn't matter. I might copy this face. I think it's pretty good. Let me know in the comments below, should I copy this face? I think I should, it's pretty good, but I'll let you decide. And how about this guy? If this video gets 10 likes, I'll do a video about If you get 10 likes, it will be greatly appreciated. And let's get on to the next attack, guys. Now, the next attack, guys, you might think it's extremely stupid, but actually, it's the most bottom attack in the log, the quick train log. It's called the Air Bomber, which is 40 balloons, one lightning, two heal, and one poison. Which is really good, in my opinion. You might think it's really stupid, but actually, I can show you how powerful it is. The reason why I got 86% is because the air balloons are really slow. I can't manage to get to over defense in time so that's why I failed to get 100 percent but to be honest guys that is the reason basically why I bought a healing is because of the wizard towers heal heal the healing spell heals area troops which is what the wizard damages, it damages things in an area, but that's why I love using the healing spell. I use it in a lot of decks such as um, giant raid decks, which is exactly like the air bomber. Basically a lot of giants facing wizard towers, that's why I use heals in it. But I think the major problem why I didn't get, why I only got 86% is because of the It is quite annoying, so if you're in a situation like mine, or if you're using like a deck, or an attack like mine, watch out for the end sweepers. Just speed this video up because 
think you know what I meant, but I didn't get to do different defenses or different buildings in time. So that's why I got everything. But on to the next video, guys. I mean, right. Now, the next attack is. I call it the Minion Horde, which is obviously, I think, he, the players in Clash Royale have heard of it before. The Minion Horde. Yeah? Have you? Comment, let me know in the comment section down below. Basically, this attack, you basically spread minions all around the place. But first, take out the Wizard Towers, because air defense is only one shot. A minion horde, a minion, but there's not a hundred of them, so you don't have to worry. As you can see guys, the air defense is only taking them out one at a time, while the wizard is taking them like group by group, group by group, so that's why we have to take out the wizard towers first. They're pretty scary, but it's okay for me. Now the good thing about this one is Minions are pretty fast and pretty cheap So you don't have to worry about anything But they get easily taken out by air bombs So you have to worry about that But you don't have to worry about anything else And that was guys, that was all of my five favourite attacks guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe and get your monkey fingers off my dislike button. And I'll see you in the, in the next video. Goodbye.